Welcome to Reaching Out. I'm Gregory Floyd, President of Local 237. Joining me is uh, a gentleman that most of us know, but just in case you don't know, his name is Sal Albanese. Sal is a former city councilman, and he also ran for the office of mayor in 1997. He ran against Rudolph Giuliani. He was the Democratic nominee at the time. Am I correct? Uh, I, I actually lost the primary to you Ruth lost Messenger. lost the primary to Ruth Messenger. I never got to Mr. Julian. Oh, okay. But he, he did run in that race. And uh, Sal, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, before we begin, just tell our audience a little bit about yourself. Well, thanks, Greg. It's an honor to have uh, uh, to, to be on the program. Uh, let me start with my uh, history. Uh, I, I came here from Italy at the age of eight. I'm, I'm an, an immigrant which is in a city which is 40% immigrant-based. I attended the New York City Public Schools, John Jay High School in Brooklyn. Uh, attended the City University of New York um, and received a uh, BA in education um, and then became a school teacher. I taught for 11 years uh, back at Georgia High School and two junior high schools in Brooklyn, and mostly in District 15 at Sunset Park and Park Slope. Um, and then in 82, I was elected to the City Council uh, from the, the uh, 43rd Council Matic District encompassing Bay Ridge, Sunset Park, and, and uh, part of Dyke Heights. And I was reelected five times. I was a 15-year member of the council. And uh, at the same time, I got my law degree. I'm a lawyer and graduated in 1990. Um, and um, in 97, uh, as you pointed out, I ran for mayor. Uh, we had a pretty good race. We got 22% of the vote. People thought we weren't going to get out of the box, and we did pretty well, considering we had the least amount of money. And uh, I've been in the private sector for the last 15 years, uh, practicing law for the first couple of years. I've been in the financial services sector for the last nine. I was a managing director at Mesro Financial. And I think that private sector experience is, is important because it, 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 you're not a professional politician. You're out in a, an area where you have to have a, um, uh, you have to be a licensed professional to work in that arena, and it also helped me to formulate a better view of budgeting and economics and investments, which I think is important for uh, uh, for anyone uh, running the city of New York. Now, so I'm going to lead to a, a question, but I need to formulate it. The area that you live in is Bay Ridge, correct? And would you consider your area democratic? Or Republican? Well, it, I was the first Democrat to be elected there in 1982. It was heavily Republican, and it still has an, a large number of uh, Republican leaning voters. For example, the congressman is Michael Grimm, uh, who, as you know, is a yes. Republican. The state senator is Martin Golden, who's also a Republican. It's a, a little bit more uh, Democratic leaning than it was in 1982 when I first ran. But I would say it's one of the most Republican-leaning uh, districts in the city of New York. And the reason I brought that up is because in 2008, you ran as a delegate. You ran as an Obama delegate in 2008, and you won. Correct. You I, tell I'm, us about I that. Am, uh, uh, I, I was impressed by uh, Barack Obama uh, mm. many, many years ago when, I, when he stood up and, and pronounced himself against the war in Iraq, um, and uh, he just he just in, impressed me. I, my firm was out of Chicago. I got to meet him there as well, and uh, I was I was enthralled by him, and uh, decided to uh, to run as a delegate uh, uh, in 2008, where everyone, virtually everyone in the city, was with Hillary Clinton. And uh, I remember people telling me, "Oh, he has doesn't have a chance, Sal. He's a good guy, uh, you know." But Hillary Clinton is going to. Uh, take this going away. So um, uh, I, uh, I'm proud of that. I, I, I contributed a good amount of money to the campaign and did so uh, this time around. And um, I think he's a great president. He's going to go down as one of our better presidents. Well, Sal, tell us about your decision to run for uh, mayor of New York City. I mean, you have a you had a career, and you were pretty successful in that career. What made you get off, and I, I don't want to say off the bench, but what made brought you back into politics? <laughs> I like that, off the bench. I was a baseball player, you know. I like that line. Yeah. Well, uh, there's nothing, as you know, because you're in the arena as well, there's nothing like public service. When uh, uh, you're in 
that field, you really can make a difference in people's lives. And, and I did it for 15 years as a council member, 11 years as a school teacher. The private sector is great. I learned an awful lot. Um, but at this stage of my life, um, I, I believe that uh, I can make a difference at, as, as mayor because that job is a job where you can have a real impact in neighborhoods um, and really improve the quality of life uh, of people. So um, after 15 years in the private sector, um, I've been pretty successful there. Um, I, I decided to uh, come back and, and uh, make a viable run for mayor. I feel pretty good about our our, uh, our our chances, although we're underdogs out of the gate. Um, I'm, I They said the same thing about me in 1982 when I ran against the Republican minority leader, that I had no chance, that it was uh, a foregone conclusion that I would lose and we prevailed election day. So it's a long way off, 10 months away. Uh, we also have a campaign finance law in the city which allows small contributors to make a major difference in these races. There are no Mike Bloomberg's who can spend $100 million. Everyone is Virtually everyone is going to be participating in this campaign finance law, um, and you, you're capped as to how much money you can spend. And it's an opportunity for New Yorkers, um, a lot of union members who are multimillionaires, to really have an impact uh, and, and really invest in a mayor that represents all New Yorkers. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, to a great campaign. Some people have called you a populist, but I know... Uh you take that as a compliment. Can you tell us about that? Well, populist to me means yeah. that you represent you represent people. You don't represent uh, uh, a few special interest groups. Uh, uh, that's uh, how I got elected. The, I got elected to the city council with four hundred volunteers. It wasn't the political machines that elected me. We had four hundred people knocking on doors. Uh, so I got to City Hall, and as you know, I was a fairly independent council member. I was able to retain that independence for 15 years simply because my base of support was a populist base of support, which means that um, uh, I represented people, regular people who are not engaged in the political clubs and what have you. So in that regard, I think it's, uh, it's a badge of honor to be called a populist. I'm Gregory Floyd, President of Local 237 Teamsters. We're here with Sal Albanese. He is a candidate for the office of the mayor of the city of New York. Uh, what is your platform? What are you going to run on? What are your issues? Um, first and foremost is independence. I think that uh, people uh, want a mayor who who's going to be um, – able to make decisions on the merits, uh, that he's not going to, or he, she's not going to be subjected to pressure from special interest groups or uh, special interest groups or what have you. So I think that's essential. New Yorkers are going to be looking for that. And I, people say that they're independent. I lived it for 15 years. I was the only council member that didn't receive a stipend uh, for committee chair because I was, I was independent. So uh, that track record, I think, is, is, is important going into the arena. The, uh, the, other, um, the other areas I'm going to focus on is education, obviously, because I was a school teacher for 11 years. I'm the only candidate who was actually in the public schools. Um, and I have some, some really strong views on how to improve the system. Uh, it's not easy to do. Uh, as you know, it's, it's like turning a big battleship around. It takes time. But there are things we can do, especially in early childhood education, where young people um, are, are uh, the, f the first three years are, s are so important to, to the development of young people. I think we need to do a comprehensive uh, effort to address um, those uh, young people early on, especially in, in poor communities. Poverty creates stress, and stress impacts kids adversely. These kids come into school buildings at five, six years of age. You're trying to teach them the alphabet, and they're coming from a home that's very... Uh, chaotic, there may be mental illness, there may be drug abuse. So we've got to intervene early on. And there is compelling studies that that works. So that's going to be a main focus, and we're, we're going to be putting out a, a position paper on that pretty soon. The other area, of course, public safety. If you don't have safe streets, uh, nothing uh, in the city will be, uh, will be uh, worthwhile. You can't have economic development. You can't have good schools without, without safe streets. And I spent 15 years on the Public Safety Committee. Uh, I am by far the most knowledgeable member 
uh, and these feel the candidates when it comes to that to that issue. And the other area that we have to focus on is uh, the area of infrastructure. I mean, our infrastructure is collapsing. As you know, the New York City Housing sure. Authority, yes. you know, is not being maintained properly. Our capital program at the MTA is a disaster. Uh, and they raised the fares 9%, by the way. Inf the inflation rate is 2% because the state defunded the MTA. So those, those are the issues I want to address. Education. Uh, of course, public safety continues a strong public safety effort. Um, uh, ma uh, mass transit, which includes the infrastructure, infrastructure development in general. Uh, I'm going to be beating the drum on that. And of course, I, I want to commend the mayor on his efforts against guns. Um, that's a major initiative that I hope to uh, continue um, uh, when I become mayor. Yeah, it looks like uh, Washington is uh, getting involved in that, and Joe Biden is heading up a committee. And we may have some uh, movement in that area. No, absolutely. I saw that. I, now, you've been a leader in that area you, yourself. I saw your yeah. article in the Chief this Thank week when they were talking about uh, arming uh, security officers in our schools, which is a real bad idea. Uh, and you pointed out how, how, how silly that is. You've been listening to Reaching Out. I'm Gregory Floyd, President of Local 237. Our very special guest was Sal Albanese. Sal is a former city councilman, and he is now currently running for the office of the city of New York's mayor. Thank you, Sal, for coming on Reaching well, thank Out. Thank you for having me on. Thank you.